Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to create rates for the different accommodation types for your hotel. Now the first thing you should have is of course a hotel booking engine. And the hotel booking engine is actually an extra plugin that you have to purchase and install. And once it is installed it looks just like this. It's called hotel booking. So you simply install it and activate. And once it is installed you're going to have extra options right here called accommodations and bookings. So when you come over here to the accommodations and come over here to the rates, you realize that I've already created some rates for some rooms. And these are already rooms that I had created for our hotel, which is the deluxe room, standard room, and the twin room. But we are missing rates for one room, which is called the executive room. And when you come over right here, you see that the executive room rates are not showing up. But when you read through the description of the rates here, they say, Rates are used to offer different prices for the same accommodation type depending on extra conditions. For example, double room with breakfast included or double room with no breakfast. Guests will choose the preferable rate when submitting a booking request. Now let me take you straight to our booking request or our booking page. Now here I'm trying to book a room and when you look down here on choose the rate, we have two rates. So in this case I've created standard rates and standard rates are the normal rates which are on the normal pricing but if you basically want to get a discount you can go for the non-refundable rates now these are going to be quite cheaper but that means that your guests will not be able to receive a refund once they ask to cancel their order or their booking okay so you can do it either way you, you can either add extra offers to a specific room to price it differently or you can basically make another offer like standard pricing or non-refundable pricing now let me show you how we can add this to our executive room rates so when you come over here to rates, we're going to say add new and we're going to name this to be standard. So standard rate for the executive room and I'm going to choose the accommodation type which is the executive room and down here you can describe what this rate is for this specific room. Now what you're going to do is simply create the rate and once you have finished creating the rate, it is going to take you to this other section. Now this is the section where you're going to set pricings for the different seasons of your room. Let me just add a new season and this is going to be the season of all year round. So by default it takes in three adults and three kids and the price per night let me say is going to be $219. I can add an option and I say if they're not spending one night and they're spending let me say five nights I'll be giving them a discount per night so I'll say this is going to be $175 maybe I would say $179. Now I'm going to add another season for this room. This is called all year round. Now let me add another season called summer. So the summer price for this room per night is going to be a little bit higher because first of all it is summer, it is high traffic season. So I'll make this room to be 259. But in case the people booking this room are not spending one night but they are spending five nights, I'm going to give them a discount. So in this case, they'll pay two for nine dollars. Okay, now I'm going to add another season still, and I'm going to say this is going to be the winter season. So the winter season doesn't have a high traffic, so that means that this room is going to be priced quite lower. Okay, the price per night on the all year round, which is like the standard price, is two nineteen dollars. So in this case, I'm going to make it to be one nine nine per night. But if there are five guests, then I'm going to make them to pay something like $189 per night. And also there's another option whereby we can enable variable pricing. For example, if they are only having one kid, for example, they are three adults and maybe they don't have any kid, I can give them a different price. For example, per night in winter and they don't have any kid, I can just say maybe they are going to pay maybe something like $197. And if they're going to spend five nights without any kid, let them pay something like $190. You can add another variation and say if maybe there are three adults and maybe they have one kid or maybe it's one adult and that adult has two kids, that means that still I can give them like a discount and you can just factor in right there the figures. Now the other thing that you have to note is that you have to rearrange these seasons based on the priority. In this case I'm going to prioritize our summer season because that is when we make the most money but also that's when we have the most traffic 
The next one is going to be our all year round pricing because it is the second priority to the summer season. We always have traffic or visitors to our hotel. Now, once you have set up the standard pricing for the executive room for all the season and you have rearranged them based on the priority of the season, what you have to do is simply now to update. Now, once you are done updating or creating your standard pricing, with all the seasons for the executive room. Now what you're going to do is to create a non-refundable fee or rate for our executive room. So what I'm going to do is simply duplicate this rate and I'm going to basically come over here, open this and I'm going to rename this to non-refundable. And then I'm going to select again right here the room. Uh, I'm going to describe the rates for that room and I'm going to say update the rate and automatically it's going to take me right here. Now remember we duplicated our standard rates. Now this means that if someone's going to book this room for non-refundable fees, automatically it should be cheaper. So what we're going to do is, we're going to come over here and we reduce our rates for the summer season. We're going to reduce this to around two, three, nine dollars. And if they're spending five nights, we're going to charge them two, nineteen dollars. And for the all year round, we are going to charge this lesser let me say it's going to be 189. If they're spending five nights, we're going to charge them, let me say 169. And for the winter season, of course this price has to be a little bit lower compared to the upper one, but all goes back to your hotel on how you want to price it. So in this case, I'm going to make it 169. And if they're spending five nights, I'm going to price them at maybe 159. And if the person booking this room, there are only three adults without any children, I'm going to price them a, li a little bit again lower so I'll say 147 and if they are spending more nights 137 and if it's one adult and two kids I'm going to price them still the same amount and here still the same amount. Now we have finished creating our non-refundable rates for the executive room so I'm going to simply say update. So when you come over here and look at the rates for our executive room for the standard ratings you see that during summer we charge at $159 for the non-refundable fees, it starts at $139. And for the all year round under the standard fees, we charge at $119. And for the non-refundable fees, we charge $189 per night. And when you look at the standard rates in winter, we are charging $199. And for the non-refundable rates, we charge $160 per night. So let's come over here to our accommodation types. And we are going to view our executive room. Now you realize that we have the check availability option activated. And we can even check for this room. Maybe we want to book this room from this day to this other day. Some nights. And maybe we are three adults. Okay. And we have uh, three children. And we check availability. It means that our system should automatically recommend only one room because it is only the executive room that can take in three adults and three children at the same time. How do I know that? Because under accommodations, you see that the executive room can take in three adults, three children. Twin room can take four adults and six children. The deluxe rooms or deluxe room can take two adults, four children. Standard room can take one adult and two children. So now we have our search results page. Now by looking into the details right here, we see that we have the executive room. These are all the amenities available for that specific room. Has the ocean view, basketball court, and uh, we can actually view the details for this room. But in this case, we're interested in booking. So we're going to say book, and then we can confirm a reservation. Now we are very interested into the rates down here. So there is a rate which is the standard rate and we are going to have the non-refundable rate. You realize that actually the price is different. For the standard rate, it is 2,685, and for the non-refundable fees, it is 2,535. Once someone books using the non-refundable fees, of course, they're going to pay something less, but then they won't be able to request for a refund. And the other thing that you have to take note of is down here, there is a price breakdown, and the price breakdown will break down the costs for the room every other day. So for example, if someone books a room and this room is crossing different other seasons, that means that we'll be charging them a different price for that room on that day based on that season. And of course, if I come here and switch the standard rates, of course, the, the charges of the rooms will change right down here. You will get the subtotal of your room or your booking. And in case you are adding any other extra services, just like this over here, 
of course all the charges will now be added right down here for example when you look into our services you see that they have added two other extra services uh, this is the city walk tour at $49 for 15 nights for one adult they'll pay that amount of money and for the game drive which is $40 uh, for every night and for three adults they'll of course be paying that much money and the subtotal is added right down here once someone switches and maybe they want to look at the non-refundable rates automatically their rates will change right down here to 169 which was listed earlier on just like this over here so in a nutshell that's how you can add rates or special rates for your hotel accommodations in your hotel booking website so in case you have any questions or comments regarding rates pricings and seasons please let me know down below otherwise thank you so much for watching